Welcome to the College Investor Audio Show, where we talk about the biggest issues impacting millennial money, from student loan debt to side hustles to building wealth. We will show you how to get out of debt so that you can build real wealth for the future. From beginner to expert and everybody else in between, at the College Investor, we help a lot of people get started and then keep growing their portfolios and investing. And so one of the questions we get asked most often is, what is an index fund? An index fund is a type of investment that is designed to follow a particular selection of the financial market. The fund itself can track any particular selection within the financial market, like the S&P 500, its common index on which a wide range of index funds are based. A few of the index funds based on the S&P 500 include Vanguard's 500 Index Fund Investor Shares, the VFINX, Fidelity Spartan 500 Index Investor Share, FUSEX, or the Schwab S&P 500 Index Fund, which is the SWPPX. And then the next question we get asked is, is an index fund a mutual fund or an exchange-traded fund, ETF? Index funds can be either an index-traded fund, ETF, or a type of mutual fund. As long as the fund is designed to follow a particular segment of the financial market, it's considered an index fund. Here are some advantages and disadvantages of an index fund. As with all financial products, you'll find that index funds have pros and cons. Here's what you need to know. The pros of an index fund. Let's start with the advantages first. Broad diversification. Index funds are designed to include a wide range of stocks and bonds through the inclusion of every security in a particular index. Diversification can help you weather the ups and downs of particular industries better. Lower taxes. Index funds are passively managed, which means that it doesn't buy or sell holdings as frequently as actively managed funds. With fewer taxable events, you can potentially enjoy lower taxes. Lower cost, too. Since index funds are passively managed, the fees associated are lower than an actively managed fund. Here are the cons. As with every pro list, there's always a con list of an index fund. Volatility. The stock market is inherently volatile, of course, and when you select an index fund that mirrors a portion of the stock market, your portfolio will reflect that volatility. No flexibility. The fund will be required to follow the index. With that, Fund managers don't have any flexibility to mix up the investments within the fund. So how do index funds compare to active funds? Let's take a look at that. An index fund is often considered a relatively hands-off investment that automatically follows a particular index. Index funds serve as a mirror to a particular component of the market. And with that, these funds seek to keep pace with average market returns. Unlike index funds, Actively managed mutual funds don't follow a particular index. Instead, actively managed funds seek to outperform the market. So, how do these two funds stack up against each other? Here's a closer look at the performance and cost differences. Performance. The stated goal of an actively managed fund is to outperform the market. If you wanted to simply keep pace with the market, an index fund would suffice. With that, Investors that choose actively managed funds are hoping to outperform the market. But do they? Hmm. In 2019, the S&P 500's index returned 30.43%. If an investor had invested in an index fund to mirror the S&P 500, then you would have enjoyed this great return. But according to Barron's, less than 50% of actively managed funds beat their benchmark in 2019. With that, an investor had less than 50% chance of choosing an actively managed fund that would outperform the market. With that statistic in mind, are you willing to work with an actively managed fund? For many, the answer is no. Costs. So as you select funds for your growing investment portfolio, it's important to consider the costs. After all, the goal of investing is to build wealth. You don't want to overpay for fees that will create a strong headwind for your investments to fight against. Actively managed funds are regularly monitored by fund managers that have to make choices about what to include in the fund. That might include hours of research, buying stocks, and selling stock. All of that effort comes at a price. The average expense ratio for an actively managed mutual fund runs between 0.5% and 
to 1.0%. On the flip side, index funds are relatively passive endeavors. The fund is designed to mirror a particular index, and the choices for buying and selling are limited to the constructs of the index. With that, index funds are less labor-intensive to manage. And so, index funds are a more affordable option with the average expense ratio around 0.2%. Yeah, index funds typically have a much lower expense ratio to contend with. So when you take the lower cost and potential active management blunders, you might likely be steered towards investment in an index fund. And you wouldn't be alone. In fact, investors have been pulling out of actively managed funds for years in favor of lower cost index funds that promise to keep pace with the market. So just a couple of final thoughts. An index fund can be a useful tool to help you build a portfolio designed to reach your investment goals. If you're content to keep pace with the market instead of trying to beat the market, then an index fund is an easy choice. Although, if you want to explore your other investment options, take a look at our top 10 ways to start investing with just $1,000 at thecollegeinvestor.com. Thanks so much for dropping by today. That's all we have for you. And we'll talk to you again real soon.